To start, I'm going to take this engine cover right off with the two 10 millimeter nuts here. Pull it up and out of the way. Make sure there's no uh, large debris on here. If there is, go ahead and vacuum it or blow it off or do whatever you need to do to remove it. There we go. Before I take anything apart, I'm going to go ahead and blow all the debris off that is here. That way it doesn't fall down into the spark plug holes. So I'm only going to show you how to replace this one because they're all the same, but basically just remove the connector, remove this 10 millimeter bolt, and pull up the ignition coil. Get your spark plug socket, put it down in there, and break the spark plug free. Okay, pull it out. There's your old spark plug. Now it's important that you have a spark plug socket because you want the spark plug to fit inside of the socket and have it hold the plug so that it doesn't fall down into the hole. If for some reason you don't, you can use a magnet and gently insert it into the hole. You just don't want to drop it because that'll potentially damage the plug. So start on your spark plug by hand and you really want to make sure that it does not cross thread. That's very important. Once you know that it's in, go ahead and bottom it out. The spark plugs for this engine get torqued to 13 foot-pounds. Perfect. That's it right there. Before installing the ignition coil, I like to put a little bit of silicone paste right on the end of it. That's going to allow the spark plug to seal up and also not seize inside of the boot. It happens quite often that the spark plug seizes onto this boot and then it rips when you tear it out. Go ahead and slide your ignition coil back in. I'm going to go ahead and connect it. Make sure it clicks. Grab your bolt and snug it up. And now you can do the same to all the rest. Go ahead and put the engine cover back on, line it up with the uh, rear studs first, and then slide it down. Put on the two nuts that hold it up front, and snug them up. 